the, the president recently praised a group of Coast Guard rescue swimmers. One of them reportedly um, faces termination because he isn't vaccinated. And I'm curious, given the threats that we're facing abroad, would the president ever reconsider uh, that vaccination requirement or consider issuing more exemptions? So as you as as you can imagine, the president has the most the deepest respect uh, for the U.S. Coast Guard. Flip those pages. Uh, that something that uh, flip uh, those you pages. Hear from him uh, directly, uh, and the country, the president and the country are grateful mm -hmm. for all of the U.S. Coast Guard heroes uh, that have heroes. led the effort uh, to save uh, lives in Florida. Uh, we have seen that with our very own eyes uh, these past couple of days. If this were a deposition, and I were the lawyer and she were the witness, I would ask her to stop right now and say, ma'am, what question did I just ask you? Or ma'am, what question are you answering right now? Do you recall the question I asked you? Can you please repeat the question I just asked you? Let's, let's refresh everybody's memory. The president recently praised a group of Coast Guard rescue swimmers. One of them reportedly, um, faces termination because he isn't vaccinated. The president recently complimented Coast Guard rescue people. One of the people that he complimented says he faces termination because of his medical status not being vaccinated with a vaccine that we now know has been referred to as a therapeutic by one Dr. Kieran Moore. Uh, we know by all accounts does not prevent contracting, carrying or transmitting the virus. Uh, allegedly, purportedly reduces severity of symptoms. We know all of that now. This man, apparently by his account from this question, stands to lose his job uh, at the hands of a policy of a man who just complimented his heroism. Can you comment on that, Press Secretary Jean-Pierre? I'm curious, given the threats that we're facing abroad, would the president ever reconsider uh, that vaccination requirement or consider issuing more exemptions? So. As you as as you can imagine, the president has the most the deepest respect uh, the for deepest the U.S. Respect. Coast Guard. Uh, Coast that Guard. is something that uh, uh, you would hear from him uh, directly. Uh, and the country, the president and the country, are grateful for all of the U.S. Coast Guard heroes uh, that have led the effort uh, to save uh, lives in Florida. Uh, we have seen that with our very own eyes uh, these past couple of days. See it with our own eyes. Uh, I would refer you specifically to the U.S. Coast Guard on this. <laughs> On this issue, I, I don't want to answer the question. questions. It's not something that I would uh, comment from here, but uh, you know, there, uh, of course, uh, have been multiple vaccination requirements, as you know, there have been for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but again, I'm not going to comment here from here on an individual case. Verbal diarrhea. That was nearly two minutes. No, that was not nearly two minutes. It felt like two minutes. That was a minute and six seconds, maybe say 45 seconds of pure verbal diarrhea. And I've got to say, what the hell is she doing flipping pages as though there's going to be some miracle answer in her documents as this man is asking the question, and then she never get What's she flipping? Just the president recently praised a group of Coast Guard question. rescue swimmers. One of them reported looking up, looking up, um, uncomfortable. Faces Let me start flipping pages. He, he isn't vaccinated. And I'm curious. We just start flipping the pages. That we're facing abroad. Yeah, there you go. The flip it. My answer is going to be there. Oh my goodness, people. Oh my goodness. And, and, and do you know how much press secretary Jean-Pierre gets paid? You guessed it. 180,000 United States dollars per year. To do that as a job, to not answer questions, to, uh, uh, the president has said a bunch of generic things. Uh, let me flip through my page. Uh, 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 and I don't want to answer that question. Go ask the Coast Guard. Go ask the guy. Yeah. And um, the fact checkers, uh, the fake news fact checkers. I'm actually going with a new term now. Wordsmiths of the devil. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying the fact checkers are. They're no longer fact checkers. I don't know if they ever were. They're not just liars. Because at least a liar, it would be very easy to show the lie. They are wordsmiths of the devil pick on little words, twist the meanings of things uh, to get the truth that you want. And then it makes it ever so uh, difficult to disprove because it's not an overt lie. You actually have to read, you have to know facts to know why it is 
the so-called fact checkers are lying to you through their teeth, through your teeth, 